One of my favorite things to do is to talk shop with fellow business owners. I could do it all day long. And I guess I do do it all day long in my business. Get me on a call with a fellow business owner and we start talking about their business and products that they offer and my creativity goes into overdrive. I start spitting out all these ideas on new products and services. I just can't help myself and I love it. Some of my clients have called me an open book or a great sounding board, and I am. I love to share all of my tips and advice of the things that I've learned over the past 19 years of designing stationary products. But there's one thing I can't share, and I won't share, not ever, not gonna do it. My lips are sealed. And today, I'm gonna tell you all about it. Let's dive in. Hey there, I'm Heather Harris, founder of Copper Bottom Design Co., a boutique product development agency that helps creative entrepreneurs just like you create beautiful and functional planner products. My specialty is in overseas manufacturing. It's my secret sauce, and I have a proprietary process that I've created over the last several years. I love talking shop here on YouTube and one-on-one -on -one with my clients, and I 100% subscribe to the community over competition philosophy. But there's something huge that I hold back, something I keep very close to my chest, and that's the name of my vendors. My vendors are an asset to my business and my clients' businesses. I've worked so many years to find these high quality vendors and I've trained them to adhere to my standards of quality and my processes. I put a lot of work into finding these vendors and freely handing out their names isn't like sharing the name of your hairdresser or I guess in a business comparison that would be maybe this sharing the name of your bookkeeper. Sharing my vendor names is more like sharing the Bush's baked bean secret family recipe. Do you remember those commercials where Jay Bush says that the only person who knows the secret family recipe is his dog Duke and he's not telling anyone? This tends to frustrate many new business owners. And I get it. When you're just starting out, you think you just need one name, the name of one vendor, and that's going to kickstart your business. That's the one thing you need to get everything started. And it's true. The name of one quality vendor can kickstart your business. And I've been known to say that one quality vendor can literally make or break your business. But I think that only further proves my point in keeping these names secret. You see, I think of these vendor names as proprietary information. And it's proprietary to not only me, but also my clients. As the keeper of this information for my business and my clients' businesses, so collectively the whole of the businesses, I need to protect this information. It's my responsibility to keep this information secret for me and my clients to maintain that high level of trust. As a creator, you likely have proprietary information in the form of a planning format that's gonna translate into the pages of your planner or your planning philosophy. That's your secret sauce and your proprietary information. The Bush's Baked Beans secret family recipe is a formula that the Bush family perfected over several years. It's what makes their beans unique from any other beans on the market. Their recipe is their proprietary formula that nobody else has. It's quite literally their secret sauce. When it comes to this information, people are pretty tight-lipped. I mean, just yesterday, I was on Instagram looking at a post from an interior designer that lives local to me. Her name is Dina Holland from the company Honey and & Fits. And she was posting a story about how furniture had been delivered to a client damaged. And the next slide, she shows there was a crew of men working to repair that that furniture. And then on the next slide, she said that she would rather sell her kidney than give away the name of this vendor who was fixing the furniture. This company that fixes furniture is a company that Dina relies on in her business to come in and save the day when something's delivered damaged. Being able to draw on their expertise enables Dina to add more value to her services and give a leg up over her competition. All businesses have proprietary information, including you, and the name of your vendor should be considered one of them. This 
this company is helping you create a high quality product that you're going to sell to your customers, a product that sets you apart from your competitors. But with all that said, I do need to let you know that I will share my vendor information in certain circumstances. If you sign on to work with me in my agency for a full service overseas manufacturing package, you will get introduced to one of my preferred vendors. This is the only way you're going to get the name of one of my vendors. And I think it's super important for you to be connected with this company because we're all going to work together to create your product line, a high quality product line, and they're going to be considered our printing partners. Your line of products are unique to you. And together, we're going to create high quality products that become your secret sauce. If you go and give out that vendor name to somebody in a similar business to yours, then that person can turn around, go to that vendor, ask them to make products just like yours, and you've just made it so much easier for them to copy you and potentially hurt your sales. Think about this next time you're feeling a little weird about somebody being tight-lipped about their vendor names. They're not being unsupportive or rude or sketchy or gatekeeping any information. They're just being a smart business owner. They're just protecting their business assets like any smart business owner should do. So if you're looking to skip to the front of the line and fast track your business, click the link in the description to learn all about my overseas manufacturing service. Together, we'll work with some of the best factories around, ones that are high quality, follow ethical guidelines, and will become fast friends. Trust me, you're gonna wanna keep these gems all to yourself too. And if you've already found a manufacturer to work with, congratulations, I know that name was hard won. Make sure you watch my last video where I give you my best tips and advice for taking the first few steps with working with that new manufacturer. See you next time.